Fort McLeod. Let's see if I can go in and take a walkabout. Hello. Hello. Good shot. Is this a bit of a... Where do you go to walk around? Out here? Yeah, but you guys Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, $12.60. Thank you. Cool. All right. Well, you guys are from left side. Yeah. Was it a, so it was a pretty quick left side? What's the best way to go through here? You can really go anyway. Like you can go to the main gallery or you can go outside first. Do those doors go outside? Okay, thank you. Yes, it was the first field trip in like two years. So. Really? Yeah. Oh. These guys are big ones. They were awesome. Beautiful day in Alberta. Eighteen fifty seven, nineteen forty two. I like these old sites. Oh, the law office. Oh, how you doing, sir? Are you the jailer? Or are you yes, yes, indeed, this is the right place. That is, if you want the law office of Frederick W. G. Haltane, newly arrived from Toronto in the spring of 1884, a graduate of Osgoode Law School and the University of Toronto. Why, you ask, would a young up-and-comer such as I choose to come all the way out here to the barely settled Wild West to open his first law office? I'm sure you have well, a lot to say, but I don't got time to listen to it all there. Uh, inspector in or constable. Is this a jail cell? Or maybe uh, his room. See you later, buddy. Had already made his way here to form the cloud. There was nothing to it, but I should follow them. And this western territory suits me quite fine. Boy, that guy likes to talk. I guess it'd be good for the... There's a uh, school going through Altura right now, so I guess it'd be interesting for them. But then again, kids don't have much patience, do they? Look at this jail cell. I wonder if that was like the drunk tank back in the day. <laughs> This is, I wonder if you can even go in here. It doesn't say don't, do not enter. I'm not sure what the lighting is in here. It's not very the best, but hopefully you'll get the gist of it all. Early businesses. stop the video and read these hopefully it's clear enough
Yes, I can. I'll go out and see if they see if they yell at me. Get off of there! But why wouldn't they have a sign saying "Do not go out there"? Some sort of what the hell is that? Piggy bank. Oh, it's a big piggy bank for donations. So this is what it was like on the fort, hey? Eh? I don't know if this is original lumber or beams, but that's not very high. I always pictured it to be higher when there's an attack going on. First Nations artifacts. I'll have to go in there after I've done this walk around the perimeter. And this is just one of the... Uh, Posts, I guess. Look out, posts. Native tribes of southern Alberta. Blackfoot Nation. Metis of southern Alberta. Oh, we can go down here. This door was wide open, so should be fine. Old cook stove. That's what I'll need when I go off grid. Sprinkler. I don't think that's sprinklers from back in the day. Oh, look at this ladies' washroom, men's washroom. Oh, they're pretty modern. I thought it was the old time. Please do not touch exhibit. Please do not touch. What are those? Fox? Looks like Fox to me. Dawson whiskey. Oh. The whiskey trade. Yeah. Get drunk and rip off the natives. That's what it was. Get the natives drunk and rip them off. Northwest Mounted Police Musical Ride. Wow. It's quite old, isn't it? Oh, 19... 1876 was the first recorded display. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know it was that old. Walking through a little quick because I don't want to have the video too, too long. I think these are for weaving... Uh, uh, shirts or something. Cotton shirts or something like that. Silk, maybe? These old license plates? Ooh. And what's that thing? I think that's a hand pump or a, yeah, a pump for shooting in to heat up your fire, maybe? I don't know. Another nice big stove. That's a nice one. And Nora Brown, Southern Alberta artist. Interesting stuff. Dispensary. Is that what they dispense of people? Or was it? Oh no, it's like the doctor's office, right? The doctor's office. Electric sterilizer. That doesn't sound good. Oh, to sterilize equipment. I thought it meant sterilize people. <laughs> X-ray machine. Cool. Looks like a big bong. Please do not touch. Yeah, I'm not going to touch. A stretcher. Not doesn't look very comfortable. But I guess you're injured. It's going to be the least of your worry. Wooden leg. Originally owned and used by an individual known only as Peg Leg Sam. Peg leg Sam's peg leg. 
Nice. He must have been great on Halloween. Interesting artifacts and an address back in the day or shirt, I guess. Filing cabinet, maybe a typewriter up there. Sterilizer over there, they're into sterilizing. Well, that's the teeth. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe that's a heat lamp, suntan lamp. Maybe they had for a suntan. You know, back in the day, get your own uh, suntan booth. X-ray machine. And I don't know, sure, I think that's a breaker, but I don't think that's from back in the day. MP, what does that mean? Reaching, oh, ran, ranching and red coats. Business of ranching. I'm not sure what that is. Branding irons. Stove, lots of stoves. So we to keep warm back then, right? Coffee beans, dried apples, raisins, sugar. Hello, Mr. Mounty. And you must be Mr. Rancher. What are you pointing at? Over there, yonder. Look at over there, yonder. Nice. Nice attire. Oh, that's for polo, isn't it? Polo stick. And there's a little small polo stick for kids. Interesting. Must be like their parade square, maybe, eh? Northwest Mounted Police. Yeah, they probably rode around here and stuff. Check things out. Doing laps on Main Street. Chapel. Go into the chapel and I'm gonna get married. Go into the chapel and I'm Gonna get married. Good acoustics in here. Priest place. Probably the local pedophile. Oops, did I say that out loud? Saddles. I think this place is haunted. Hear that? Hear that? What the hell? Push that anvil away. 100 pounds. I better get out of here. Sounds too haunted. Let's get over to the native artifacts. That'll probably be interesting. Northwest Mounted Police. Locked. 
told us to go back inside. We don't need to go back inside yet. Spiel about the Fort McLeod Northwest Motor Police Museum. First Nations artifacts. It's all the uh, tribes that were in the area. Bison. Look at that. That's an awesome display, eh? Look at that. Oh, this is head smashed in buffalo jump. This is where I'm going next. Chase them off the edge of the cliff. They fall down. And then the people finish them off at the bottom and harvest. Nice. Drying the pelts. Finish them off. This is awesome. Okay, a bunch of kids in here, so let's go through quick. Don't want to disturb the children. It's a tire. Friday night attire. Oh, that's uh, kind of like a, well, not a wheelbarrow, but they just skid it behind the horse, right? Drag stuff on there. Yeah, there we go. You can even ride on it, cool. Horse Travoice. Carry the baby. Carry the little baby. Look at these clubs. A club? Oh, mall. Hide scraper. Mall. Hand mall. Whetstone. Medicine bags. Necklace, scraper, beaded buckskin bag, little moccasins, infant. This is Crowfoot, chief of the Blackfoot, Blackfoot Confederation. Hey, chief. Bunch more moccasins and mukbucks. Well, oh, moccasins. Look at the beadwork, eh? Okay? That's awesome. One of the chiefs, I imagine. Oh, yeah. Chief, sh Chief shot both sides. 1913, 1956. Some color, colorful dresses, and those are mukluks, I think. How many moccasins? Hi, moccasins. Oh, I hear the freaking class is coming. I better get out of here. These kids will be too loud. Or the uh, tour guide. So colorful. You don't know, think they have this many colors back in the days, right? So beautiful. And this 
I think is all the chiefs. Crowfoot. Running antelope. Mary Thomas. Striped wolf. Squat a few. I've done that before. Weasel tail. Red leggings. Bullhead. Bad dried meat. Not the most affectionate name. Deer foot or dried or bad dried meat. Photographer. What's this over here? Oh, arrowheads, look at that. It's not cool. I wonder if they were found all found in the area. See you later, buffalo, or you bison. Maybe you're bison. Well, that was a great tour. Fort McLeod. Just kind of driving by and saw it. It was just that luck. I guess I should do a little more research. But now I'm going to head over to Head Smashed In Buffalo Jump.